Hey everybody, Ken Reed, your TV Guidance Counselor, and today we're talking about the very short-lived 30-minute family sitcom created by Wes Craven. Yes, that Wes Craven. It's the people next door. In the fall of 1989, horror maestro Wes Craven created a 30-minute comedic sitcom for CBS. It aired only 10 episodes and is very, very strange, but not in a good way. The show starred convicted sex offender Jeffrey Jones, which is a real shame because he's a great actor and was good and stuff, but is a scumbag who has solicited child pornography, so fuck that guy. Uh, as a cartoonist, and Marjorie Gross, who is very funny, very talented, not a sex offender, and frankly is a really good person, so that's why I'm talking about this show, as his new wife. Now, the premise of this show is essentially if the Twilight Zone, It's a Good Life Kid, grew up and became Gary Larson of The Far Side. That doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? And the show really didn't either. And that he died, making people laugh. co-written and co-created by Bruce Wagner, who is a very dark playwright who is married to Rebecca De Mornay. You may know him from One Crazy Summer, where he played uh, Joel Murray's crazy uncle who was trying to win a contest all summer, but he also wrote the movie Wild Palms and Nightmare on Elm Street 3 and Shocker, which was the film that Wes Craven was making while he was making The People Next Door. Walter. Yes, sweetheart. I love riding through the old west with you, but next time, can we be the cowboys? <laughs> Basically, he's a famous cartoonist, but he can make things happen, like alter reality and make his cartoons become real. Or maybe his cartoons are real and he's just drawing things he actually sees. They're like monsters from another dimension. They never really explain it. And in the 10 episodes, they never really got to. Uh, Leslie Jordan, the great Leslie Jordan, plays the mailman who is terrorized by Jeffrey Jones's visions. Uh, it's not a particularly funny show, but if you're a fan of Wes Craven, uh, this is in his uh, watch it when you've watched everything else pile along with the porno movie he directed called Fireworks Woman and maybe some of his other lesser known things but it's The People Next Door the half hour family sitcom created by Wes Craven